and welcome to Emma's Hens. Um, today I'm doing another little special video for you. Um, I'm going to be making a all natural cleaning um, agent for the chicken coop and for the home. So this isn't just for the coop, this can be used at home as well. Um, so especially at the moment where everything, you know, at the moment with what's going on, we all need to um, keep things a lot cleaner. Um, this is um, this has got antibacterial properties and things in it as well, so it's great to be used in the home. Um, but I'm going to focus mainly on putting it in the chicken coop, obviously. Um, so what we're going to be using today is we're going to be using some lovely lavender, which I've collected from the garden. Um, we've got some mint here. I've got two different types of mint. Um, I've got this one. It's got really fluffy leaves. I don't know what they're called. They're just growing in the garden, so I couldn't tell you what they were. But this one is like fluffy mint, and then this is like your standard garden mint that you get in the supermarket and stuff. Um, but yeah, I've just got these growing actually on my allotment, so um, I'm not sure they were there when I got the allotments. I don't know what they are. Um, and then to put those in, I'm using um, vodka. Um, you can use white wine, uh, sorry, you can use white, distilled white vinegar as well. Um, but I'm going for the vodka just because um, it's it doesn't have a smell. Um, whereas the white vinegar has quite a vinegary smell and sometimes it overpowers the smell of the herbs. And I want to be able to smell the herbs. So what we're going to need to do is have a jar for putting um, everything in. And then we're going to get some lavender. So what we want is you can either use the leaves or the flowers um, here. At the moment, mine's gone really long. I'm not sure what variety this lavender is either, um, but it's got lots of, um, of I think it's, it's really good for oil, this one. Um, so what we're going to do is chop some of these off and put them in here and then the mint and then we'll put it in. Um, so the reasons we're using the lavender is um, it's natural insect repellent, um, which is great for it down in the coops because, you know, you want to keep all the creepy crawlies away. Um, but it's also a natural stress reliever, um, which will keep the hens calm and relaxed when they're in there laying their eggs, which is what we want, isn't it? And you know what, if you're using it at home, that's brilliant for us as well. Um, so, you know, we just need to be calm and relaxed as it is anyway. Um, and then the mint, or the mint, is good um, as a rodent repellent, actually. So uh, there's a guy on our allotments um, who swears by using this mint um, on his allotment. And what he does is every year when he plants his peas, he gets a load of this mint and he just spreads it over where he puts his peas um, to keep the mice away. And I have to say, I've had my allotment for two and up, nearly three years and I've never been able to grow peas. The mice just literally eat all the peas. Um, and he has the biggest peas out of everybody on the allotments. Um, so I take it at work. So what I've actually done is I've brought loads of cuttings back from the allotment and I've planted them all around my chicken coop. See if it works. I don't know, we can try. Anyway, back to this. So we've got the mint and the lavender, both good at uh, repelling insects and um, rodents. Um, and then the vodka. So the vodka and the and the um, white vinegar do the same things, almost. So um, they're very, really good for antibacterial properly, properties. They both kill mould and mildew. Um, the only difference with the vodka is this is odourless. The, obviously the white vinegar isn't. And vodka actually kills insects, whereas the white vinegar will just repel them. Um, so this is much better for mites and other crawlies that we find in the chicken coop. Um, and I want to kill them. So um, I don't want any mites in my coop. So I'm going to be using the vodka. So let's get to it. Let's chop some of these off. So you want to fill it to about one third full. So we're going to take some of these off, put them in. So I'm going to be using the stems, oh, the stems and the flowers of the um, lavender and some mint. Let's have some of the fluffy leaves. And what you want to do with the mint is um, just rip it so that it's releasing all the oils. Let's have a little bit of this one as well. That in. 
So yeah, about half full, I'd say. Let's go for half full. So we'll grab a few more of these of the lavender. And what I'm going to do with this for lavender is I'm going to screw it up just to release the oils in the um, flowers there. There we go. Because that's what we want. We want it to smell. Oh, I wish you could smell that. Oh, it smells lovely. Right. Well, that really does. Okay, let's just have a few more bits of the lavender. So I like I like the lavender. I love the smell of lavender. Okay, pop you in there. Uh, what do we think? Nearly. Let's put some more mint in, I think. Bit more mint. Screw it up. So yeah, I've just found red mite in my coop, which I'm really annoyed about because I've been so careful about not getting them. And it's, I've got them in my uh, little coop that I've got my um, chicks in. Well, they're not in there anymore, obviously. So I'm battling against them because the, the, the chemical that I used to use last year, unfortunately, has been taken off the market. It's been 40 years it's been on the market and it's been used all over the world. It's brilliant. It gets rid of everything. It's used for bed bugs and things normally. Um, now, unfortunately, it's been taken off the market. I can no longer get hold of it. So um, that's just a little bit annoying. So I'm, I'm trying a few other remedies at the moment that I can get um, like flea sprays and stuff. Um, luckily, it's not in my big coop, so the big girls are all fine. It's just in the little coop and I'm able to keep it just in the little coop for the minute. Um, and I've been going down every night at about half past 10, nearly 11 o'clock and going and spraying um, anti mite stuff in the coop to get rid of it. But I think what I'm going to have to do is take the coop apart, spray it properly, um, and then I'm going to paint it. Because um, the red might obviously live all in the little cracks and crevices, and it's a wooden, it's a little red, wooden rabbit hutch. Um, and I don't want to throw it away, because I've I only bought it last um, spring, so I've only had it a year. So um, that's the final result, is to burn them. But I'm, I think I'm on top of them, actually, so it's not too bad. Right, vodka. So I think we're sort of half full in there. And then I'm going to pour the vodka in. So I just went for the cheapest vodka that I could find. Um, paper bag stuff, you know. <laughs> this is the cheapest vodka I could get in the supermarket. Um, actually, it wasn't the very cheapest. The very cheapest there wasn't any left of. Because I think everybody is making their own um, hand gels and things at the moment. Um, so I've gone for the second cheapest. Because <laughs> that's all I could get. I'm thinking maybe I need to put a bit more herbs in. Maybe not. Maybe that would be fine. So, that's in there. And then, what we're going to do is we need to leave it for two to three weeks, which is a bit annoying because I wanted to show you it being sprayed around. But I'll have to do another video and show you. So, let's just make sure that lid's on properly. A little vodka over there. Give it a quick shake. Just to get that infusing in. There we go. So that's all in there. And we'll leave that to infuse for a couple of weeks. And you'll know when it's ready because it will turn um, like a, pur well, depending on the thing, purpley, greenish colour um, and the vodka will change colour. That's when you know it's ready. Um, if you're using the white vinegar, um, take the lid off and when the smell of vinegar has gone, that's when you know it's ready to use. Um, but I think, I'm not sure, I've not tried the vinegar, so I, I, I'm just going by the recipe that, that I've got off um, Instagram, but I'll put a link to the in, um, to the Instagram uh, link in my description so that you can um, read the recipe yourself. But yeah, on, on the recipe, it says to leave it until the smell of vinegar is gone, but I make pickled eggs with white vinegar and they smell, still smell like vinegar six months later, so, I'm not sure that works, hence the reason I went red vodka, because I, I don't, I think it's just a, I wanted the smell of the herbs. Um, so what you do is that then you, I've got an empty spray bottle here, which I'm going to reuse, um, always good to reuse things, especially plastic, so I'm going to keep that and reuse that one to put this in. Um, and then you just put it in neat and spray it around the coop. If it's a really strong smell, you don't like it, just dilute it with a little bit of water and then spray it around. 
Um, obviously, as I said, this isn't a substitute for cleaning your coop at all. That should be done, at, you know, as often as you can. Um, when you start smelling an ammonia in the coop, you know you really need to clean your coop out. So, but this is just to freshen it up, make it smell nice. Um, if you've got any birds that are under a bit of stress, so I've got a couple now that have just decided to go into a molt and they've just shook all their feathers off. Um, so it would be good for, you know, hens that are going through a molt and things like that. Young hens that are just starting to lay, just anything, just because of the lavender in there makes them feel a bit happier. Um, and I'm hoping that it might also help with the mite problems. Um, I'm not holding my breath for that, you know. I've tried a lot of things in the past and I've ended up burning a few coops. So, um, but hopefully this will go in some way to prevent the, um, the, the mites. So that's it. So um, if you want me to show you anything else in the future, let me know. Um, if you haven't already, subscribe to my channel, please, please, please. Um, and then I will um, do some more videos for you. Right, goodbye for today. And I will show you when this is ready and we'll go down and clean the coop.